in this question, we are given that L is parallel to M and P is parallel to Q. These two lines are given to be parallel, right? And we have to show children that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CBA. Children, whenever we are given that two lines are parallel, jabbi, whenever we are given that two lines are parallel, we should have three things in our mind, either for Z, alternate angles, F, corresponding angles, or C, co-interior angles. Now, which figure is clearly visible from the figure? Z, F, or C, which alphabet? I'm Z. I'm Z. I'm Z. Yes, because P, Q, is parallel. These two are parallel parts. Parts of parallel lines are also parallel, Bachche. Yes or no? Yes. yes parts of parallel lines are also parallel. So these two are parallel. So which two angles will be equal? One, two. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma One is equal to two. Alternate interior angles as P is parallel to Q. Likewise, L is parallel to M. L is parallel to M. So this will also be parallel to this. And this is another set being formed. So this angle 3 will be equal to this angle 4 children. Yes, ma'am. Again, alternate angles as M is parallel to M. Right, Vita? Now, in these two triangles, ABC, and triangle CDA. We are getting one equal to three equal four. Anything else? Anything else? Do we have this side as common side? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so in these two triangles, in these two triangles, one equal to two, three equal four, and AC is common. Ma'am, AXA. Ma'am, AXA. Angle side angle criteria. Yes. Angle side angle to triangles are congruent. But, Bacha, one thing I want you to note down here. One thing I want you to note down. See, suppose I have a rectangle like this. Any quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now, you may be wondering why ma'am has written D two times. Because I'm going to divide it diagonally. So, when diagonally divide karenge, for example, if I have a rectangle like this, A, B, C, D. And I'm going to divide it diagonally. So, the two parts only, this will be A, B, D. And B, C, D. So, B, D will be there with both the triangles, children. Yes, yes. So that is what I have done. Please observe. It's very interesting. See, right? Now, these two parts I have proved to be congruent with the help of this alternate angles and BD is common. But if I'm going to fold BD like this, are these two triangles covering each other? No, ma'am. Are they covering? No. no. Please look carefully. But I have to prove them congruent. I have proved them to be congruent. And congruent means they should cover each other completely. So here we need to do something. What we are going to do is, we are going to rotate this. We are going to rotate this. If I rotate it, if I put it like this, that, anyway, triangle will remain same. Yes or no? Sides will also no. remain same. So it's not going to make any difference in the dimension. So I have just rotated the triangle. And now when I am keeping it, is it overlapping? Yes, ma'am. Yes, completely. It is overlapping. So that means triangles are congruent. But something has to be done. They are not going to be covered like this. We need to rotate one of the triangles. And children observe. When you have rotated, B of this is falling on 
Oh. Another triangle. And D of this is falling on B of the another triangle. So it is twisted. Look carefully. This is the original figure. But if I just fold it like this, it's not coming out to be congruent. So what I'm doing, I'm twisting one of the sides, one of the triangles. So when I'm twisting, now it is covering. So what you have to observe is that you will not write in the congruency AC equal AC common. Rather, you should write AC equals CA common because the triangle has to be rotated. And I'm going to put this sign for rotation. When I put this, understand that we are rotating one of the triangles. Are you getting my point, children? Even in the question, you can see AC is not going to AC, but C. So in the question itself, they are telling you the order. They are giving you the hint that one of the triangles need to be rotated. Just imagine you are taking this B up. Soch ke dekho, aap is B ko upar le ja rahe hai, triangle ko. And you are putting on D. Will it work? Because if we do like this, that would mean that 4 should be equal to 2. But in actual, 4 is equal to which one? 3. Ma'am, 3. 3. 3. But if I rotate this triangle, if I rotate this triangle, this is my A, C, B. So if I, instead of putting it like this, I will rotate it like this. I am rotating it. And I am keeping it like this. So C either comes A either comes D. Now they will be able to cover each other. Can you imagine? Yes, ma'am. Understand what I'm saying, Peter? And from the question itself, they are telling you that AC is not equal to AC but CA. So I'm explaining you this so that in the congruency, when you are writing, you must not write AC equal AC common. You should write AC equal what? Dash. CA. I'm CA. Because it shows that we have understood the concept of rotation. As it is, Triangles are not overlapping. As it is, triangles are not overlapping. But if they rotate, they are able to cover the Okay? So let us just down carefully. And please make sure that you are going to put down parts of ABC below parts of ABC. So ABC have, has which two angles? Mom, angle one and angle four. Angle, I, I would like to put it three and this has four. Please mark carefully in the figure also. So triangle ABC, then you will write these two. So in triangle ABC and triangle CTA, angle one is equal to angle two. You must write alternate angles as reason and also put the pair of parallel lines. Alternate angles as P parallel Q. Now AC is equal to CA. Please pay attention. And angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Again, alternate angles as M parallel L. Okay? So therefore, triangle ABC is congruent triangle CBA by angle side angle. Hence, move. If you want, you can put here also. All right. So make sure this point that AC is not AC, but CA. This is an important point to pay attention. All right. Veda. 